Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today is a very, very interesting... Not really interesting, it's more of trying to catch you guys up on what's been going on with my channel, how why I haven't been uploading, why I haven't been driving my E90, um, what's going on going on with my E36. So... Let's just talk about what happened yesterday. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, yesterday was literally the worst day of my life because I had a flashback of, like, pretty much my choices in life. Um, when I was driving my E36 at the DMV that same morning, I went down to the DMV and I forgot I left all my paperwork at home because when I went on vacation, I took all the paperwork out of the car, the pink slip and everything because, you know, it's common sense. You don't want um, someone stealing your car with a pink slip inside the car. So when I got there, I forgot about it, came all the way back home. When, uh, when, it, when I went, was going to go back, it was time for prayer. I uh, went down to go uh, went to go, to go pray. It was like 12.30, you know, um, as a Muslim, you go, you pray at the mosque on Friday, Friday prayers at around like, well, you go to the mosque around like 1-ish. So uh, that's that. And then uh, once we got back home, I decided, you know, I still want to go back to the DMV. But uh, before I do that, I want to go smog it as well because the engine's been running really, really smooth. It just felt like a good time to go get it smogged and then go... Um, go to the DMV and register it so I can make it my daily for now as my E90 is not running. Now, as I was driving it to the smog, Sacramento, like four, nah, let's say like five miles in on the highway, um, out of nowhere, I hear a big chunk of metal fall on the ground and uh, my car lifted up a little bit and lifted up a little bit and the steering kind of got stiff a little bit and I was kind of in the middle lane it wasn't like you know I had to like stay straight it was a little bit scary at the time um, it could have been a whole lot worse but I didn't even know what it was I'll explain to you guys what it was toward the end of this video so metal blew up everywhere um, you just hear a bunch of metal. I don't know why. It was just a lot of metal. I just heard a lot of metal fall at the bottom of my car. And then I see this truck behind me um, as I'm trying to go off the side of the road to pull over. Um, this truck behind me comes behind me. I thought he was going to come help me out, tell my car, be a nice guy. He says, yo, look at my windshield. Um, you just shattered all of it. And I was like, oh, great. Car's not even registered or anything. It's like... All right, so I gave him my ID. I let him take a picture of it. I gave him my phone number. I said, "Go find out how much it's gonna cost to fix, um, and let me know. I'll pay for it. Um, if it's expensive, I'll find a guy for you. Don't worry about it." He's like, "All right." He went about his day. I was over here in the heat for like two hours, like 115 degrees in the car. Car has no AC. The car turned on just fine, shifted gears just fine, just won't go into gear for some reason. And I was like, I mean, "It would go into gear, but it won't roll." So I didn't know what was the cause of the problem I'm not a mechanical guy I'm more of like a I mean I'm getting into mechanical but you know I'm still learning this is why they have a project car and uh, like two hours later after calling multiple uh, tow trucks trying to see the cost it was a Friday it was uh, you know busy roads um, busy roads uh, a cop stopped by and he's like I I'm with highway patrol I've seen your car still here after, you know, I circulated, I circulated this highway like twice almost. And, uh, I mean more than twice. And then I was like, okay, he's like, do you need some help? And, uh, I was like, no, he's like, um, all right, uh, how come you haven't called a tow truck or anything? And I'm like, I'm trying to find a good one. I'm, I'm, I was on my way to the DMV to go register the car. And he's like, the car isn't registered. I was like, no, he's like, you need to, he's like, when'd you get the car? And I said, and I didn't want to lie about how I got it, like, got it today or something i did get it three months ago because it's probably gonna ask me for all my information because it's the only information i have for the car and it shows when i purchased the car so i said three weeks ago he said why are you driving after three weeks and i said uh i just got the car running and everything which was you know a lie but you know trying to get out of trouble and then he's like no you shouldn't be driving it period um and all this kind of stuff and the cop out of nowhere and the same car comes out I didn't even know there was two cops in the car. The other cop comes out. He's like, yo, so do you need some help or something? I was like, yeah, man. If you can just get, just get me off the highway, uh, it'd be great. I'm just, like, dying over here. My my shirt was just, like, balling in uh, sweat. My phone had, like, 8% on it. Try to call everybody. I have AAA, but, you know, they said that if the car isn't registered, we can't tow your car. So I couldn't even use my free tow, which I get, like, you know, six of them a year. It was just such... It was just... It was all BS. Um, so the police officer, then the second one was super chill, called another highway patrol towing truck. 
told me off the highway to like a local, I don't know, place that they take people. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it's a thing. Um, got dropped off there. I went into CVS, bought like so many drinks because I'm just like losing all my energy. Didn't eat anything since the morning. I woke up like early, early morning, like 10, and I wanted to just be productive. And it just didn't, nothing went according to plan that day. It was just terrible. Um, so when I went to CVS, got my drinks and everything, uh, been calling a few guys. They're like, oh, we can't make it out. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, you're in a really bad spot. It's going to cost a little bit more, like 160 to 25 minutes. I mean, 160, I work minimum wage. Um, 160 is like almost like if you, if you work like part-time minimum wage, that is a week's worth of work for 25 minutes of worth of tow. So... That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, for me, I do work almost full time, but minimum wage still. So it's like 16, 17 hours for a 25 minute tow. I just, in my mind, wouldn't go into my mind. And I had to find like the cheapest guy to do it. And there was this one dude, super chill, cheap. It wasn't cheap. It was the cheapest I could find. I needed to get home. I just, I was not in the mood. Like it was literally like I'm telling you guys, the worst day of my life. Like everything just flashed behind my eyes with when I crashed a car. I almost crashed a car. And I was just thinking, oh my god, I have two cars in the garage, can't afford to fix any of them right now. Um, what am I going to do with YouTube? Yada, yada, yada. Um, so all this was going through my mind. This guy, for 85 bucks, I negotiated. He said, I'll take your car home. Um, so I finally paid this guy, took my car, put it on his trailer. As the car was going on the trailer, it lost, um, what's it called? It just lost grip or something. It just fell off the chain. And then the car was rolling back off the trailer really fast. And he's like, don't worry, don't worry. And I'm over here like, what, what the hell? Like, what do you mean don't worry? My car's literally rolling back really fast. So I ran up to the car trying to jump in, pull the e-brake so it doesn't hit another car or something. And then the car just, like, you know, jumped a little bit. Obviously, this was doing to hit an e-brake real hard. Um, so I pulled it up. And I'm over here just like, what, what the, this guy even know what he's doing? And he looked in the bottom of my car. He's like, yo, man, it's... uh." It looks like, because I don't have a crash bar to put, you know, your tow hook on. He's like, because he's trying to put it like on the axles and something. He's like, um, your rear um, rear shaft axle, the one that's connected to uh, the diff, is broken. And I'm like, um, so I'm assuming, you know, that's what connects to your diff to make your wheels move. So it goes into the gearbox and makes it move. So that's what was officially broken with my car. Um, the E36 is that the rear drive shaft broke off, but I'm, I'm thinking that from there's a lot of oil that leaked. I'm hoping my drivetrain, uh, my uh, differential is not messed up. We'll have to see. Um, so that was that. He told me that was the issue. There's another way to get it towed. He helped me. I put my foot on the brake. He reversed into me with his truck. It was just a long, long, long day. Finally got me back home, put it in front of the house. Uh... I went inside, um, and I just, you know, I was just chilling for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just trying to rethink, like, what am I going to do right now? And then I remembered that I took all the paperwork out of the car, because I don't know which tow trucks that car is going to be taking in, put it in my pocket, and then when I was in his truck, I was really comfortable, I just put it on his side door, his, it was a really dumb thing to do, but I, I didn't, I was just, you know, I wanted to look on my phone, and just wanted to relax for a little bit, put it on the side of his door, and I forgot all my pink slip, my registration, I mean, not my registration, but like everything I need, the, the bill of sale, everything that I need to get the car into my name. And it was all in his truck and he was like 45 minutes away um, at this point. So I called him, luckily he was a nice guy, he told me where he was, he's like, I'll chill here next to McDonald's, I'll eat there, just meet me here and like, you know, whatever, how long it takes you. I was like, really do appreciate it. Um, went down there, as I'm going down there, my phone dies, because my phone was already on 10%. I, I didn't even, I forgot my phone was like, about to die so on my way there my phone dies i don't even know the address he gave me i don't know anything so i just kept on driving driving down that highway just super stressed out and then uh, i was like dude this is just no way i found a, a walgreens and i charged my phone there um charged enough for like a good seven percent and then i started continuing my journey down to him uh once i made it down to him my phone died again I don't know where I was. It wasn't really like a, a place where you can buy chargers. It wasn't like, it was kind of like a uh, a suburban neighborhood. It wasn't, I don't know how to explain it. It was just kind of a dead neighborhood. Um, and there's this, I was just lost again. So trying to get back home, 
uh, just went follow, followed the LA exits and every single thing because that's what my cousins told me to do when you're like when you don't know where to go just always follow the LA exits. So I've been following all the LA exits and eventually so I started seeing my my street uh, my city um, names. So I followed those, finally get off an exit, and on my way home, my cousin's homes were a little bit closer, stop by to literally just calm down, maybe get a cup of water, see how they're doing um, before I get home. And when I left the house, my mom was very, very worried about, because she's like, who is this guy in the first place? Because like, it wasn't a real tow trunk company. She was like super sketched out that I'm meeting him for 45 minutes away. I never called it back. She was texting me, calling me and everything. I never, I didn't, I didn't know she was texting me, calling me because my phone was dead the entire time. And then she was like super stressed out, crying and everything. And uh, my dad had a good idea to call my cousins. Maybe I'll be there or maybe they know what's up with me. And then um, they got a hold of my cousin. I was there at my cousin's house and then my dad basically put my mom on the phone and she was bawling in tears. My my situation that day was already garbage. I wasn't really in the mood and my mom started crying. My like All my emotions just went out and uh, it was just a very, very, very bad day. I went home. I was thinking about at least making a video, but uh, I was just, you know, not in the mood. It was, it was a very um, unfun experience. Now, I honestly don't know if I'm going to upload this right now. If this has been uploaded, it's, it's uploaded. I just wanted to let you all know what's going on with me. And, uh, you know, money is a problem. Money's always been a problem. I tend to spend my money on my cars because that's what I love. That's what keeps me going in life. And uh, one day, you know, hopefully my passion will turn into my uh, my, my career. So that's just, that's just that. Um... I do plan on uploading the next couple days, maybe some informative videos, but nothing with really driving. I'm going to be trying to fix the E36 still, but, you know, not going to be driving. I'm going to be driving my mom's Prius for all I know for the next couple of weeks. Uh, maybe maybe just a week if I could figure out how cheap it's going to be to fix the E36 and just get back on the road on that guy. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what's going on right now. Um, I didn't want to upload this if I did. I know it's pretty depressing, but... Um, it's not just because I'm being lazy. It's just it's a lot been going on and uh, Yeah, smash the like button if you understand what I'm going through um, And leave a comment if you guys had shitty days like this I saw this guy on Instagram that luckily hasn't happened to me because I don't know what I would do um, Somebody t-boned him and his e90 and just when he got t-boned he hit a pole as well on the front end so all of his you know custom mods up front Doors, uh, side skirts, the suspension, the rear, everything you could possibly think of a custom part got destroyed. And uh, I, I can't imagine, you know, that, I mean, it's, this is all materialistic kind of things, but from a perspective from a teenager is that this is a lot of our money, you know. Um, this is our passion. We like to work on cars. When when we see all of our work get destroyed, it's, it's kind of a mood killer. Um... So yeah, it just it sucks. Luckily, it wasn't as bad as he did. Luckily, I didn't spin out because when my rear drive shaft fell, um, this actually I forgot to even mention this. When my rear drive shaft fell, um, it's so heavy to where if he would have hit the ground, my car would have bounced up, and then who knows if I would have lost control and hit another car. Especially it's not insured or anything, I would be I'll be screwed. Um, that God made it a lot better than it should have been. Um, that day would have been even even worse, but BMW thought to put the exhaust underneath the drive shaft So when it fell it fell on the exhaust and bit down the exhaust like almost to the ground But the exhaust pretty much saved the drive shaft from hitting the ground and making things a whole lot worse <sighs> All right guys, so um, I'll see you guys in the next one I, I promise you'll be a whole lot more happier probably gonna be in the same unit shirts and everything you're probably gonna make a video right now on the E90 because I got to make a couple of videos for my day off. It was I had two days off, but you know that's life. You you don't you don't know what's gonna happen the next day. So always feel blessed for what you have, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy, you know. You're all